whose black ass they thought this was gonna blush, but it's not me. Hello guys, and welcome back to your girl's channel. So, as you can see from the title of the video, honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna title this, but today, I'm just gonna be playing around with some new makeup that I've got, and yeah, that's literally all I'm about to do. So, if you guys wanna see the look that I'm about to create, please keep on watching. So, literally, this was just gonna be a video dedicated to this palette, but this is the star of this video. This is why I am doing this video in the first place. It's the Daisy Marquez XVH Cosmetics palette. Sis, I was here for it, for the color, and look, and there's a palette, and then it comes to this little mirror, and look. Bish way? Bish way? This is what I call packaging. Daisy is in like 2030 and we are still in 2019. I've already primed. I used my Becca backlit priming filter. And fam, look, look at the nice little glow what that we got going on. And yes, before y'all start coming for me, I see how thick my eyebrows are getting. They don't even have a shape. Let's start there. They're almost touching my frontal and then my frontal is lifting, sis. <sighs> I get paid in a couple of days. So we're just gonna have to push through until we get paid and then we'll, we'll fix all of this. Listen, I be struggling, struggling the week before I get paid. Mm. Mm. I don't wanna talk about it. Oh child. Oh, ah. This is my second time around doing this because the first time, your sis, your sis was, oh, I just scratched the red. That's the main color I wanted to use. Oh. Can y'all see that? I scratched the red. Mia. To start things off, I am going to prime my lid using my e.l.f. 16 hour concealer. If I can find one. I'm not trying to drink any more coffee because it's 7 p.m. and I'm not going to be able to sleep. But I honestly, listen, I am drained. I am absolutely, positively drained. But I heard this is actually a really good concealer, but... Oh, I already have the Fenty concealer. I don't need anything else right now. Okay, nice and blended. Now for this look, I honestly feel like I'm just gonna do red smoky eye. Because listen, this red right here is so pretty by itself. I just want to use it all over my lid. Like, look at that pigmentation. Wow. Woo! Lovely. Lovely. Before I blend that out, I'm just gonna deepen up my crease. I'm gonna use the color Bittersweet. It's literally a darker version of Passion Fruit. I'm being real reckless right now because we're gonna go in and blend all this out like really nicely. And then I'm just gonna take a Real Techniques brush. Why was that so hard for me? And I'm just gonna, you know, blend this out. First of all, these are blending like absolute butter. I don't know why my ass is always using that big old mirror that's so far away like I can see. I don't know if y'all can see but there's like this line right here that's just refusing to blend. Okay, it's starting to blend just a little. Okay, better. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a little bit of black right here because it's looking a little off. The color is called Matter. A lot better. A lot better. Honestly, I should have just cut my crease. That black evened everything out. I'm really following this look. I don't know where it came from. Maybe it was inspired by my red hair, but wherever it came from, the gutter, I'm feeling it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this other eye. I don't know if I wanna do a liner yet, but you're about to find out in like two seconds. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this other eye, pop on some lashes. Jeez, I can't talk. Do this other eye, pop on some lashes, maybe a liner, maybe not, and then I'll be right back to do the rest of my face. So I may look a little bit different from my last clip. That's only because I just wiped away that red that was on my eye and then I just cut my crease and put that red back on again. Get right back on. And that's about it. The lashes I'm wearing is eye candy from my favorite lash company. If you know this by now, official SBY lashes. And these are hands down my favorite style. They are so nice and fluffy. Oh, absolutely love them. Did I put on mascara on this eye? Nope. Now we're gonna move on to the face. So, for foundation today, we're gonna be using the Becca Ultimate Covers 24 Hour Foundation. I thought this was a new foundation. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. 
It's not. It's just a different packaging. The old one looked like this. Oh man, I forgot to wet my beauty blender. Hold on. Una momento, por favor. A few moments later. So the color I'm gonna be using today is Sienna. Hopefully this is my shade. And Sienna already looks dark. Okay. Okay. Yep. It's a little bit dark, but you know what? This is not something I can't work with. That foundation still has the same smell. Then I'm going in with my favorite concealers, ATM, which is the Fenty Beauty. Duh. I'm just gonna take the color 498. I'm gonna use this to contour. Bam. School starts in two days. You come to kill me. I am not looking forward to this shit. Spring break is over. Like, why? Why? Just why? Then I'm taking the color 390. I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight. Yo, this foundation is so dark. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling myself. Bam, my face is looking snatched. Now I'm taking the powders of all powders, the Laura Mercier powder, and I'm just gonna set everywhere that I've highlighted. <laughs> what the fuck? I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna do with my lips. Like, do I wanna go dark or just stick to nude? Plus, I'm hungry. Okay, what's next? Bronzer. I'm gonna take my Morphe Bronzer Showcase Powder and I'm gonna go ahead and you know, add some color back to this face. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I look oh, great. great. Yo, I'm starving. Wow, your girl is hungry. Oops, your girl is famished. I'm gonna go and eat something. Then I'm gonna come back and finish the rest of my face. Okay. okay. Channeling my inner Cardi B, you know? Two hours later. A bitch is back for the third time. I'm so out of breath. I'm just so out of shape. So next we're gonna move on to blush. I wanna do like a reddish orangey blush. So I'm gonna take this color. It's called Provocative. Ooh, this one. From my Morphe 8W palette. And I'm gonna take this brush that came in this month's Boxy Charm. What month is this? March. Okay, that's that's a lot. A lot on that brush, not a lot came on my face. And I like to go in with the blush, okay? Spritzing my face. Okay. Oh, no. Spritzing my face. In the arms of the angel. Okay. okay. I spritz my face just a teeny weeny tiny bit. And I'm gonna take the Cover FX Perfector Face Palette. And this also came in this month's Boxy Charm. I don't know if this is the color they sent out to everybody, but I know there's a darker color than this. I think that one is meant for black people because um, I don't know who's black ass they thought this really, nigga? was gonna blush, but it's not me. Anyways, I'm gonna take this color right here. It's called, it's literally called highlighter. It's not picking up. There it goes. And I don't know, but this is um, a little hard to work with. Ugh, this is taking too long. I'm just gonna go in with my handy dandy trusty Betty Luminizer. Sweet. Sweet. Much better. Yeah, that, those cover effects are a little dry. Okay, back in business. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a long time. This is so, it doesn't feel all. It, it just, I, yes it does, it feels odd. I'm gonna move on to the lips. Now, I don't know if I wanna go dark because, I mean, ain't nothing wrong going dark. You know what they say? The dark of the berry, the sweet of the juice. I have the color LAX from ColourPop, and I mean, it looks fine. And I also have this color from CoverGirl from their full spectrum line. I haven't used it. It's called Fortune, Fortune. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, I want to use LAX. I haven't done a dark lip since probably last year. I'm not talking about 2018. I'm talking about like 2017. And then I'm going to take the tiniest, tiniest amount of this purple. This is called Ace. It's number 285 from the CoverGirl Full Spectrum line. And I'm going to put this in the center. I thought this was going to be a little bit brighter than this, but <laughs> apparently not. That's what I'm talking about. 
that's what I'm talking about. That color tastes funny. Mm -mm. Oh no. I don't like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my hair. And then I'll be back in like two seconds for the outro and some slow-mo. not my favorite combination but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this look slash tutorial slash me just rambling please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up leave any questions comments or concerns down in the comment section below and for the love of makeup and all things girly please subscribe and stay tuned by your girl's next video bye guys